So it's time for the Pink House Project on Dad It Yourself. If you guys remember a couple of videos ago, I was working on my son's kitchen and that was like project one of a full renovation of that mobile home and actually modular home, sorry. And I'll talk about the difference here in a minute. Um, but they decided they wanted to move closer to home and they were about an hour north of where we live and now they're about a half a mile away. So we decided that they were going to move in here and they have purchased this 1200 square foot mobile home this one is mobile it's metal and um, we're going to renovate it and it has some nice parts to it and it has some bad parts to it we're gonna talk about that here in a minute um, I'm walking around the outside just so you guys get an idea of the general layout it's what would be considered a double wide there's a patio with one entrance and you probably saw me walk by the other door on the other side um, it's in a really nice park. There's probably a hundred different units here and um, it's, Like I said, it's only a half mile away. Let's do a quick walkthrough So before I go inside Obviously one of the first things we're gonna need to do is Cut this down clean it up and if you guys follow my channel, you know, I'm kind of into my lawns So this is gonna be a great project lawn for in the fall and then we got this deck which is in relatively good condition. It just needs to be cleaned and repainted. And then all of this lattice work, we're gonna remove. We're gonna build a fence with a gate right there. And then this front part over here also belongs to them. And we're gonna build a small fence around that perimeter with a gate across there. So here's the front door. And it's really low. Let me show you how short it is actually. I'm six foot one. So we're gonna have to figure this one out. The previous owner had planned on replacing this door anyways and actually left one for us. And unfortunately, so if this is six one right here, a normal door is about 60, 6, 8 or 82 inches, which is here. So we're going to have to cut all this in to get a standard size swing in exterior door. That's going to be fun. And I'm that definitely going to be a video on to itself. And of course, a new storm door. So inside the house, there's new laminate floors throughout all the way through, which is nice. Kind of a weird transition, not sure why they went this way and then this way, but it is what it is. I don't think this wall here is original like this. So this is at an angle, it goes that way. Um, it makes for a fun funky kitchen and we'll see that in a second, but I think eventually this is gonna be the television wall and then this will be like the family picture wall with a small table in front, which is nice because it'll be out of the walking path here. Um, plenty of wall space over here for chairs, couches, tables, and stuff like that. So this is actually a really good size room. Um, new paint, new baseboards, new window trim. But thank God the floors are, are good. And the ceiling is generally in good condition. Except for this spot right here. And going to need some paint over here where there was an old water leak. This house does have a new roof on it. So walking down the hallway, we have the first room here. We'll call this the front bedroom. And really the only thing this one needs is the ceiling repaired right there. And then some window trim, new baseboards, and some paint. The second bedroom is pretty much the same thing. Uh, that window needs to be replaced. I have one out on the driveway. And this one just needs a little bit of paint. And that's it. So I'm in the master bedroom. And just like all the other rooms, mostly just uh, new baseboards and paint. Uh, this one does need a ceiling repair also. And both of the windows in this room there and this one over here do need to be replaced. They're the single frame aluminum ones. Uh, I know there's windows outside. I don't know how many there are. But that's like a $200 window. We can replace that quick. Um, the other major deficiency or discrepancy 
is when they had that roof leak, this whole piece of paneling got destroyed. So that's going to be replaced. This has a really nice, large um, master bath. You can see me in the mirror there. Got a big tub. Um, this is just vinyl peel and stick tile that's all coming down. Uh, it may look nice, but it's not nice. <laughs> and then another window here. Now here's the weird one. There is a closet right here that's in the bathroom that goes into here. It's a good sized closet. If you want a linen closet, that'd be good for you. Um, but right outside the door, there's another closet right here, which is really shallow. But what those are, are just in the corner of the master closet, which is dark. We don't have electricity on right now, and I don't know if you can see this. But what we're gonna do is this is the corner where those two closets are. We're just gonna blow that out and replace it. Sorry about the lighting. Let me get back out of here. All right, so that's the three bedrooms. We've got another hall bath, which that's vinyl tile. They did a really good job of matching the, the uh, courses and lines, but that is a new tile shower. Hey, you can see me in the reflection, how nice it is. It's got a new toilet and a new vanity also. So this one's just a little bit cosmetic, mostly on the walls. And over here next to it is a full laundry for a washer and dryer and then shelves and plenty of storage in here. And then this bump out here is, the water here is on the other side of this corner, but this is actually deep storage right in here. But here's a door that goes from the laundry room into that other bathroom. We're gonna get rid of that door. Um, that'll make this area here through here. We can put shelving and storage and use it as a large pantry or something like that. The other reason we're gonna eliminate that closet in the master bedroom is because we've got this big one right here in the hallway. And then, like I said, we'll add some more shelving to the um, laundry room for storage. Oh, I forgot to talk about this room. So this is in the front of the house. See, there's the front, there's the street. And this is, um, I would call it a bedroom, only one problem. There's no closet in here. So I think the kids are gonna use it as an office slash guest room so that when they have people come visit, they can stay in this room. And then when there's no one here, it's an office space. Um, my daughter-in-law actually works from home, so she needs a dedicated space. And then this is right off the kitchen too. So no one wants to have a bedroom right off the kitchen. So speaking of kitchen, this thing is gonna get gutted. Uh, we don't know when, uh, maybe after they move in, probably. Um, they're moving in the next two weeks. I'm not gonna have time to do a full kitchen reno in the next two weeks. But as you can see, we got the crappy vinyl tile again. We've got cabinets that look like they're from the 1940s. And then another sink, which is, I don't know who thought this through, but it's about six inches off center from the window, which drives me insane. Like I said, these cabinets are done. Um, I don't think these are original. I think someone just tried to do something. As you notice, the doors extend lower than the boxes. Uh, in all cases, the style is different. The microwave is obviously not as wide as the cabinet box. I think this is actually originally for like over a refrigerator. I mean, this one is the piece de resistance. Look at that door hanging down right there. So we got a lot of experience on the last house um, doing kitchen cabinets. So I think we can probably do something pretty neat here. And as you can see, that's got to be done too. So a couple other things that we need to do. This has mobile home doors in it. They're about the same thickness as a regular door, but how they're hinged and molded, I'm going to end up rehanging just about every door in this house and then figuring out how to trim it with the stops or the casings and then redoing all the moldings into a craftsman style. Look at this one. Nice gap on the top of the door, you know, nice and straight. Yeah, that's gonna have to get rehung. He um, actually 
started working back here and he redid these and kind of got it what I would say kind of right. Um, half inch casings, door stops, but it looks like he ripped it to width. So I do like the header like that, but we're going to have to fix that. There's Trevor back there. He just walked away. So what we're going to do today is a couple of things. We are going to take everything out of the walls in this room so that we can start prepping this for paint. My daughter-in-law is on the ball and is ready to paint this room. So what we have to do is pull all the baseboards, take all the plates off, take all the screws out, fill and sand all the holes, and then get it ready for paint. The second thing I need to do is this house didn't come with any new keys. So we're gonna replace the doorknob set here and then on the laundry room door over here. And these doors are not long for this house. Like I talked about earlier, we're gonna replace both this door and the front door. Um, I have a digital lock for this door so they can come in and out without having to get a key. Okay, I pulled out all the baseboards in this whole room and the door casings on the front door and on the closet door in two minutes because on average there was only six nails holding in about eight feet of baseboard here, which is nuts to me. But that will make it so much easier for them to paint and I'll put new craftsman molding in here. So we did a little bit more work. I had to replace that and that panel. Just gotta replace some of the trim on the seams. Put some half rounds and quarter beading over here and some new quarter beading over here. And then as you can see, Trevor has been busy with the spackle. Look how many holes were in these walls. So we'll let that dry overnight and then we will come back and hand sand all the spackle and then this wall is going to need a little bit more work and we're probably going to orange peel texture this wall. Okay, so we're getting to the end of the work day and as you can see, we're running out of daylight. I went ahead and locked the other door from the inside and I'm going to replace this so we have a key to it. Go ahead.
So that's the end of day one and part one. We got a lot accomplished just in a short amount of time, but it's the beginning of a great project as we move forward. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel to check on updates on how this project goes. Hey, and jump down into the comments and think, should we repaint this or do you like this pinkish purple color? And speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right down here. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.